Hello, my name is Jack Harris. I'm the Power Generation Sales Manager here at ANA. Today I'm going to introduce you to the ANA Smart Load Automatic Load Bank System. Uh, this system was designed and developed to prevent wet stacking and light loading issues and other issues that uh, can happen on Tier 4 engines. Uh, we're using a resistive load bank system to test the integrity of the electrical end of the generator and also load the engine. Uh, it's the most efficient way of testing and loading a generator. Uh, the power demand that's being put on the generator uh, also produces uh, demand on the engine, which keeps the engine warm and uh, the exhaust system clean. Um, so on the new Tier 4 engines, you have to have at least 30% load in order to avoid wet stacking and going into regen or regen lockout. And we do that with the, the ANA Smart Load. Uh, we add 40% load uh, to the generator. It's an automatic system, uh, nothing to turn on, nothing to adjust. It automatically makes the changes if you switch voltage. And uh, it's completely hands-off. It works behind the scenes and it's always maintaining your engine and your exhaust system. Uh, the way we do this is we monitor electrical load being pulled off the generator. Uh, we do not tie into the engine management system like other systems that are out there. We believe in keeping things simple and reliable, and this is the most simple and reliable method of doing this. So um, the smart load is a resistive load bank. It mounts on the air discharge scoop on our units. It's all powder coated and with stainless steel hardware. All of our electrical devices that are located in this box here, it's all weather tight. All the electrical con connections are in weather tight conduit with weather tight fittings. The smart load um, is designed for mobile use. Uh, there's other systems out there that uh, um, are using stationary technology. We're a little different. We're using coil over resistors that are wound like a spring and then we wind them spirally like a spring and through the middle we have uh, mica insulators supporting the uh, resistor coils on all four sides. Uh, this is a very durable system. Mica doesn't crack and break like ceramics. Also, the, these resistor coils are very low heat output. This is the same design that's being used in locomotives and mining haul trucks. It's designed to be on all the time if necessary and also very rugged that if you can survive uh, a mine site, uh, bumping down a mine site road, uh, this is truly going to last a lifetime on a generator. Also, it's very low out heat output. You can actually put your hand on the uh, enclosure of the smart load. It's warm to the touch, but it's not hot. Also, too, is if you wanted, you could put your hand above the air discharge scoop where the smart load is located. And it's hot, but it's not going to burn your hand. You're not even going to pull your hand back. Uh, so the heat is very manageable. So I'm going to walk over here and kind of show you um, the control panel. This is our, our deep sea uh, controller and on the SDG65, which we have as a demo here, we are monitoring uh, the load that's actually on the generator. So when we, right now we're in a static mode, we're gonna go ahead and start this unit. So if we should change the voltage on this, uh, or the phase from single phase to three phase, the smart load automatically does all the adjustments. Now, for demonstration purposes, we have turned the timer down for the smart load to turn on to 30 seconds. Normally it's set at five minutes. So if we don't have at least 30% load on the generator, then the smart load will come on. So if we look here, we don't have any current being pulled off of the generator. We have that 30 second time delay for demo purposes. And we're gonna load this machine to about 40%. So we'll see 25 amps of 480 volt three phase power being pulled. We got about five seconds here and the smart load will turn on. Okay, as you can see here, 25 amps, 40%. Now we also have a load bank hooked up to this unit to simulate a job site load. So we're gonna hit the machine to exceed the threshold of 75% where we turn the smart load off. And instantaneously, as you saw there, the smart load turns off. Now we're simulating a motor load that it's running about 16 amps. 
but our amperage jumped up to about 40, 41. The smart load automatically kicked off. Now we're going to turn off that external load bank simulating job site load, and the smart load is going to continue to monitor the load. And if it's not at least 30 percent, it's going to turn back on. Right now we have no load. So if your generator is in operation, the smart load is always going to be, be maintaining the engine and the exhaust system. So you don't get any situations where you have light loading, wet stacking, uh, regens and regen lockouts. So we're going to go ahead and shut the unit down and uh, not only do you avoid those service calls and the light loading issues and the regen, regen lockouts, also too it prevents engine damage. If this generator was running lightly loaded for a long period of time, it could cause damage to the injectors. If you had to replace a set of injectors, maybe about $2,200, and uh, this, this avoids that. Also too is if your generator comes back in from a long-term rental and you don't have smart load on it, the best thing to do is put it on a load bank and clean it up. Uh, also to check the integrity of the machine so it can put out full power for the next rental. With smart load, it always maintains your engine and your exhaust system. So you don't need to necessarily need to do that when a generator comes back in off a of rent. Another beautiful thing about the smart load is, is if you had a unit like this, the SDG65 with a smart load on it, and you also had smaller machines in your rental fleet, say you needed a 40 or a 25, but they were all out and you had your 65 in the yard, you can go ahead and send this unit out without any worries about service calls for regen and, and light loading because the smart load is going to take care of it. You can comfortably down rent this unit, increase your utilization on your generator rental fleet and create revenue. Uh, the way this is designed with our coilover resistors, the mica insulators, keeping it simple by just monitoring the load on the generator, uh, this is going to last a lifetime of the generator. Uh, this is an um, exclusive product from ANA. Uh, we have a patent pending, and uh, this is surely going to last the lifetime of your generator. Thank you for tuning in and watching our smart load demo.